Why hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is of course Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my link in bio for my personal brand, Aesthetically Dope. So of course, if you'd like to know how I got this aesthetically pleasing look, then of course, stay tuned. All right, so for those of you who are new here, Hello, welcome. My name is Chelsea, of course. I am a professional photographer, graphic artist, and web designer. I make these YouTube videos to help small business owners, other developers, other designers <laughs> be able to create things. I primarily use no code or low code resources. Um, and right now I am focused on creating super cool websites using Google Sites. That's pretty much it. <laughs> um, first and foremost to you guys, I know I sound a lot more whispery than usual and I'm definitely speaking in a much lower resonator than usual and that's because it's early and I have not actually spoken until now. <laughs> so for that reason, I sound like a little bit of Lauren Bacall over here, <laughs> but that's not bad. Okay, so aside from me making uh, some jokes, <laughs> let's just take a look at this aesthetically dope link in bio. So what makes a link in bio site? Basically a link in bio, if you've never heard of it, is a website where you would store or have all your links be presented so that people could see it. Think of Linktree, and if you've never heard of Linktree, Linktree is where you can go and share and have these little a miniature website. They also have other integrations, such as you can integrate with PayPal, Shopify, uh, Square, GoFundMe. Um, side note, you can also do all of those same things inside of Google Sites. You could literally use any website builder, so I kind of find it kind of annoying that there's an entire industry around these miniature websites and it's literally all the same in in every platform why reinvent the wheel when you can keep you can keep all the information in one space and that's essentially why i decided to create um, a link in bio site inside of a google site so here you have one this one is clearly done in Canva, but it's essentially the same thing. It's a site that has all your links on it. So what you're looking at on it is the full screen desktop view, but there is obviously the reason you have a link in bio site is for the mobile view. And this is the mobile view. Moving on, let's explain what's going on here on my Google site. We have my aesthetically dope. You still have a hamburger menu, um, which by the way, if you have a one pager, um, Google site you won't have that menu just saying what I like about Google sites is that you can also hide your footer uh, so as you can see I'm, I am scrolling but I don't have a footer to scroll down to so on this home screen page there is no footer the background is actually using like I know it's GIF but I really want to say GIF just looking at it because I've been around a lot of people who say GIF even though I know it's a GIF so Anywho, the background is actually just using a uh, GIF that I got off of Canva. As you know, I do a lot of things in Canva. Now on the foreground, on the um, portion that's not this background image, I have this bubble version of me. There are two ways to get this sort of a bubble image. This is actually an embed, so I used this so basically the lens of HTML a simple way of doing it is literally going into Canva dragging and dropping uh, an image into a bubble frame and then boom exporting it as a transparent PNG just drag it and drop it in here then of course because you can show not only just emojis but you can use you use any format to have a title for your Google site if I were to get a domain domain names won't allow you to to have it be an emoji 
which is bull crap at this point because i think i think in my head like that's where domains need to be going they need to be going to emojis <laughs> so anyways that way i could just type on my keyboard like happy face emoji and it takes me to this website but anyways so that's what this is this ready player is actually a transparent gif and this is actually a transparent gif as well both were created inside of canva and then exported out of canva which doesn't allow for transparent backgrounds but i'll leave a link down below which will show you where i i do my transparent backgrounds it's a really known source that you can go to so so once you press start it takes you to my links page and then you're greeted with another gif now what's interesting about this particular one is you can see my frame my head the like my bubble is much larger than the previous one and that is because this one was created in canva and then it was created at a larger scale within the full size of the image here we have the gif of my head and you can see how it's filling up its actual 500 by 500 pics and that's exactly why it's so much larger on the social links page of my aesthetically dope so here going back to that page again to remove the white background because you're not able to export with transparency presently okay presently i have a feeling that it's something canva is going to be able to do in maybe in the future of course i have just standard text that goes around here that says at aesthetically dope and that's to let people know that most of my social links are at aesthetically dope actually that's not true a lot of them are at just chelsea vids because i i don't know why not then we have the stream instagram facebook and TikTok, and i selected emojis just on my desktop to be able to use to show for this example what if you don't want to use um these standard you know buttons you can create a button in canva drag and drop it here oh also the background scrolling gif i need to say this because you're going to run into this issue if the gif is larger than 47.68 don't quote me on that something like 47.68 um yeah i want to make sure that let me go double check right at all 47.68 megabytes then it will not upload into your google site okay so now i also have added this here it's actually just a carousel but i chose to make the carousel using um the gifs so you can create an image carousel using gifs inside of your google site if that's ever been a question there you go now as you can see my high is off to the side but that's fine i did that on purpose so high and then there's a drop down menu let's play a game this is a link in bio page touch the moving icons to be directed to various social media links so I think on my other channel, Aesthetically Dope, I did preview it with just the social media links like this. And if you're gonna do something to this effect, make sure you're adding in your alt text and that your alt text actually states where the link is going to. And that's because people who are visually impaired uh, need to know what they're going to be clicking on. So. It is imperative to make sure that you're being inclusive with your designs. And I know it can be very tricky when you're a designer, but it's not that, it's really not that difficult to make sure that you identify when you're creating a link, that this is a link and where it links to, but also describe if you can, in very few characters, describe what it is that the image it's so it's a pyramid it's literally a spinning pyramid <laughs> and i will say these some noodles all right so if you were to play this game that i have set up here for you to kind of figure out if you're just you know looking at it you would click on it and it would take you to my twitter for aesthetically dope 
or the next squiggly line one which would take you to my anger management for the obviously angry digital planner and then um, just various links to different places this is to my personal Instagram as you can see I got a new phone case and this video is really popular and this last one here which will take you to my actual aesthetically dope uh, what do you call this? What, you, what are they called? Blogs. Man, I gotta get more sleep these days. So, <laughs> this is take you to my blog, and you'll be able to actually see some of my photography that I always say I'm a photographer, but y'all never see the photography. So, that is located here. These are images of Sedona. Okay, so, yeah, you can go ahead and check those out if you want to. Now, that is pretty much it and then of course on this page I did include a footer but it's really not necessary for a link in bio so this will probably be removed by the time you all take a look at this page now let's just take a look at the back side of it because you know why not so this is the code for it I'll go in here and then I'll have the code right there save and then I have some of my words, you know, that re they resize differently than they do um, based on your screen size. So that's why I'm not making any adjustments to this. And then, of course, the footer that is hidden. This is the link, what it links to, social links. And this is the social links page as well, which is hidden. Now, another great thing, too, is that you could actually hide all your links in the header and um let's see hide from navigation cool and head on back home and so now since it hid everything from navigation i could actually go in here delete the aesthetically dope name and then publish it publish again and now let's go on back to that aesthetically dope site okay so here we have it as you can see i have no more buttons across no more um nothing in in the navigation bar across the top because it just doesn't exist anymore so let's see in small so that would require people to literally select the various um, icons to be able to move about the page so even if you had multi pages if you were to remove them uh, or hide them from the navigation then they wouldn't actually show up on your site and of course the social links page is really easy to use um, easy to create too because like I said you could you don't have to have yours be all crazy neon squiggly boxy as mine is and again turn that off um, you could do whatever you wanted with yours and make it look however you want let's just put that in the middle for now and then I'm actually gonna take this and make it center because it's kind of driving me crazy all right <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it and then to get the links um, if if you want to have emojis on yours I don't know what it is I'm pretty sure it's like uh, command something I don't know but in uh, on a Windows computer all you do is press the window flag and then period and then that will actually bring up your emojis so I'll show you what that looks like now Windows flag period and I'm using Windows 11 so I have um, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff and then if you actually wanted to add in a gif <laughs> you could actually do that as well so that's that's really awesome thing but again literally link in bios don't have to be these super complicated ones like i have uh but you know i am going to create some link in bio templates uh and those will also be included inside of my etsy shop and possibly on my my website as well i haven't decided where i want to have like exclusive stuff located right now <laughs> Alright, so I do hope this video has been helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. If there's something you would like me to actually make a tutorial on. Again, I usually show things on my on my YouTube in theory. 
I've yet to make like a full blown tutorial, except for my very last video, obviously being um, me creating a logo inside of Canva. But you know, something like this that's inside of the Google site, um, anything that might require some com complex script. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and of course, laters.